Hi guys, happy Sunday fun day. So I have a um, little time here. So I've done most all of my makeup, but we're gonna do coverage on this skin. I don't have any foundation or anything on. I did my eyebrows and my eyes. So on that note, and I'm gonna fix my hair here with my favorite straightener ever in my entire life. This is the Lounge Straightener. If you girls don't have one, you should probably check those on out. I got mine at a really good deal and a discounted price. I am not um, sponsored by Lounge or anything like that. I just absolutely love this and I can't wait to get the hair dryer. But my hair is not really wanting to cooperate because I just washed it. But do you see this shine? I just threw this straightener through just a couple times and this shine that I get is like amazing. Actually, I might just leave it like that for now. We'll see. So, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Sharissa Knight, and I am a yellow presenter with Unique. If you see that live button up in the corner, it means that I'm on currently, so say hi when you pop on. Let me know what you're doing today, all that fun stuff. If you don't see that live button, just means you're catching me on the replay, and I really appreciate you being here. So, I'm going to stop messing with my hair now. I'm going to pin my website real quick, and then we are going to um, use these two products right here with our brush. All right, give me one second here while anybody pops on. I'm just going to, ah, itch my nose. I don't know why. Until I come on camera, I'm fine. I get on camera, I start getting all itchy. Let's see if I can spell today. Ooh, it popped up for me. Yes, save me. I don't know why I won't save the whole thing, but that should do it. And pin, and pin, pin, and pin. Okay, so if you want to and you think anybody might enjoy this or afterwards if you watch it and see if there's anybody, just feel free to hit that share button right down there and it'll send it right on out to them and I appreciate it. And let me know, hashtag share if you do, um, so I can thank you. So this is our Touch Liquid Foundation and this is our concealer. This is our foundation brush. Well, I'm sorry, the liquid foundation brush. The other, this, it's dirty, don't mind. This is the foundation brush. But this is my favorite, and it's so, so, so soft. All right, so shake it all up. Everything is mineral-based, so you just really want to shake it. I always recommend taking off the top, getting anything that's in there out, and then shake it up really well again. And I think I'm going to need a new one of these soon. All right, I'm not even going to use BB cream today. I just want to see. Um, I do have my primer on already. And like I said, I know my lighting's not great. It's kind of gloomy. Um, I already did my brows with the Brow Obsession Palette in the color Blonde. And I used the Brow Artist brush. And then I've already gone ahead and done my eyes except for the mascara because I like to set my face and do that last. Let's do this first. And these little flyaways are going to drive me nuts. So I need to get some product in there in a minute. But at least my hair is done. I prefer second and third day hair opposed to when it's just fresh and clean. Because it's so soft and shiny, which I love. But it's not always super cooperative. Okay, so we're just shaking this up. And I'm going to do the same with this. And we are going to get to this. Okay, so I'm going to open this, fill up my dropper, and we're going to do concealer. I don't need a lot, so I'm going to do one, two, three little concealer spots and just wipe it off on there. And I'm going to do about three to four drops of this. All right, you know what? Where's my little ears? Found them. Let's see if they sit up perfectly. Please don't fall over. Get my hair out of my way. There we go. That way you can see. Please don't mind. My undercut is growing out. Don't pay attention to that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. One of these so I can see. Not that one. That is filthy. Clean your stuff. All right, let's try one of you. It's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just going to take what's on here and just kind of dot this all over. And you're going to see the 
covered we're going to get with this. And this brush is so smooth. It's made for this, so it's going to get the job done. You turn your brush. There is kind of one end, if you can see, that's a little bit more pointed. I like to use that and come right around my eyebrows just to get nice and close to what I did. And this also, doing this second, is letting me kind of shape my eyeshadow that I did. So if you want it to be more cat eye or upward, whatever you want. But check out that coverage. If you wanted more coverage, you could add um, the concealer on by itself first, or you could add more. I like it because the concealer with it just gives it a little bit more of a full coverage. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Get right up into my hairline. And I just like to kind of blend it until I feel like it's all the way in. It's going to dry to like that matte finish powder. Take it one down. So I'm just a blender, so I really, really like to just keep making sure and just keep bringing that down. So that just shows with eye makeup done what coverage you can get just using these two products right here. And I feel like that's pretty blended. Like I said, and anybody who knows me, I will blend until my arm falls off. And it does dry to a matte powder finish. More coverage if you want. You can also, it's buildable. If you want a little bit more than this, just go ahead and um, add yourself a couple more drops if you want. I'm going to close this up so I don't knock it over. And I'm actually going to use powder, so I'm not going to add any more. But that's just the coverage with just, let's get these babies off. We don't need those anymore. That's just the coverage with just three drops of concealer and three to four drops of the liquid foundation. That's all it took on this little brush. And I got full coverage for me on my face, enough full coverage that I like. If you want more, like I said, it is buildable. Let's grab mascara to finish off the look. I will set my face. Um, let's contour real quick while we're here. Because, you know, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it all the way. And I'm going to go... I think sunset's still a little light. I'm going to try just mixing the two of these. Let's see what happens. Let's play for a second before we hop off of here. And I want... I'm going to do stunning today instead of sweet. We're going to change it up a little bit. Uh, when you pop on, say hi. Let me know what you're doing for the day. And I'm just going to grab brush that I want. This is just a Morphe C7 just that I have because I like that I can use the flat, oops, minus that piece of hair, use the flat side and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. So we're all kind of one dimensional right now and let's pop a little bit of color. I think this is going to be a little too light but we'll check it out. I'd rather start with the lighter shade and then if we need to we can add on to it. Yeah, I don't see like you really see that that much. So sunset's not working for me. Little too light. We're going to go in with Hermosa, the medium shade. Just going to use the same brush. Oops, I'll turn my hand. It's just easier. we go. Now we've got a little extra so now we don't look like we've just you know been sitting around one color on all day. Blend it in and we're going to finish that off with powder in just a minute so it won't look too harsh. 
I'm going to use, this is super, super pigmented. I'm going to show you. You'll see how bright it is. Ugh, if I can get it open right here. You only need, that's it. And I still just dust it off. Dust it. Ooh, I can't talk today. Look at that pigment. Just in that little teeny bit. All right. And I'm going to take my, what color is this? It's poplin in it. I don't want you. Too, probably too dark. I'm going to go with taffeta. And we're just going to lightly go over. I'm just going to grab a fluffy brush. And this is going to give them more of a matte finish and a little bit more coverage. That's why I didn't go in with any more of the liquid. Because for me, this was enough. Blend it down. <gasps> Meg, hi babe. Miss you too. How's your day today? Okay. And because I'm extra, I'm going to go in with the lighter shade that is, I think it's crap is how you say it. And I'm just going to get, uh, if I can see, here it is. I'm just going to grab this little angle, angle, angled shadow brush. I'm going to make sure there's nothing else on here first. Pretty sure I washed them all, but just in case I forgot one. I'm just going to take this color and go underneath my eyes. And a little bit right here, anywhere you kind of want to highlight or have a lighter shade. Kind of like to mix that in just to kind of lighten it up. I always like underneath my eyes to be light. I just want them to be light and bright and look like they are wide open. and visit during Christmas break. Oh, nice. Do you have any snow or anything? Thank goodness there hasn't been any here. I am going to go lightly over my eyebrows just so everything blends together. And we are going to set our face. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish off with mascara. And before I do that, though, I do want to bring a little bit of the color I used on my eye. I'm going to use, it's delicious. Oops. Ooh, hold on, that piece broke off. I'm just breaking stuff left and right. Go me. Um, this color that's right here, I'm just going to grab my angled brush. It's not my angled brush. There it is. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Bring it underneath. And it's probably going to look like I have a black eye for a minute, but I promise it will come all together. Trust the process. And don't worry, if it's too much, we can blend it out after um, with a different shade if we need to. So I'm just going to blend this a little bit. And now we're going to set our face. And once we put our mascara on, that's going to all come together. Oh, no, she's getting low. Going to have to get out the backup one soon. Um, if you want your face to be a little more dewy looking, you can also set with the rose water, which sometimes I do both. I don't mind a little bit of like a dewy look. Um, let's see, mascara. I'm going to throw on just a little bit of lip oil. And let's do some mascara. I'm just going to use Waterproof Epic. Which is also buildable, so you can use as many as you would like. Ugh, no snow. You can keep it, girl. <laughs> you know I don't want any of that. Okay, so I'm just going to go in on my bottom lashes first.
And now for the top, I'm going to take it real close to that lash line and I'm just going to kind of roll it up. Not really worried about the length right now. Right now we want to just fill in any little crevices and get all those little hairs. Which is going to give you a more full lash look. Oh, and paint your face. That's okay too. It'll come off. Easy fix. Look at, oh, and all over my hand too. I am just all over the place here. Um, you can see how much difference that makes. Now that we have that together, we don't look so crazy and like we punched ourselves in the face. Because we didn't, not today anyway. Not yet. It is still early. their hair now I'm kind of looking up because I don't want to transfer oop, I don't want to transfer onto my um, eyelid but I want to really just pull the length all the way through to the tips of my lashes and that's the epic right there in waterproof now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side and then you can decide if you want more I, I got a crisscross here. Definitely much better applying makeup, especially mascara with my right hand than I am my left. I bet you I could probably practice more. It just irritates me. I don't feel like I have quite as much control. But that could also just be all in my head, because i got to be able to do both, I guess. So the same thing, just getting really close to that root line, lash line, lash root, whatever you want to call it, and then we're going to pull upward. And if this is a little too dark, I'm going to show you real quick how we can fix it after. Okay. I'm going to use you guys for my mirror for like a second. Welcome to my eyeball. I just want to get really close in there. So just taunt, lightly pull to the side, just a little taunt pull, and get those little lashes right in there. And I'm not even re-dipping my wand. I'm just using what I have on it and kind of just playing with the lashes, pulling them where I want them to be, and lengthening them. So as soon as you get this on, you can uh, kind of play around with them a little bit. All right, let me see how this looks. I'm destructive, so let me close that. There we go. And see, now it's not too bad. I'll even kind of turn you guys this way. I don't know if this helps. But see, like before, how underneath looked like it was going to be really dark and oh my god like what did she do but see once you have your mascara on and that liner it kind of pulls that whole look together i know i'm looking crazy right now because i'm trying not to look directly into the light but i just wanted to show you the pigment that you get and that even by bringing it down underneath it may look a little crazy at first but now my eyes look open, they look wide, I look wide awake. You can see that color and that contrast when you turn your head. It's all just personal, oops, preference. I got you guys sideways here. 
Um, let's grab something real quick for our lippies and we're going to be all set. And then I think I need to find some dry shampoo or something to put in this hair of mine because I love that it's growing. And I did use some purple shampoo, so if it looks a little more blonde today, it really is. <laughs> so let me just go ahead here and what do we want to do for lips? Let's do... Oh, we haven't used this in a while. Let's use... What color do we want to do? I feel like I'm always using like the same kind of shades because they're neutral and that's me. I do like the Lip Splash and Chandel. Um, or not Splash, I'm sorry, the Plumper, but you guys can't purchase that. So let's move on to check out one of these. What color do we want to do? What did I use this for? Let's see. try to use one we haven't used. Mm, it's a little too peachy, I think. It's prodig how to say it wrong. Prodigal? Prodigal? Blah, blah, blah. Don't ask me to say anything. Because if I can't say it, I'm going to say it how I think it should be. Um, upscale. We could do upscale. Upscale is just a nice little pink. Let's try that one out. I haven't used this one yet, I don't think. I got a lot of new colors. So, all I have on right now is that lip oil. So, my lips are nice and moisturized. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take this. And you guys can ask anybody until... I started using and uh, I wasn't even selling yet. I was just using the unique products. I was not a lipstick person. Now uh, you want to talk lip gloss? Whole whole nother thing. Get it out of your shoot. That's fun. But these are so creamy in the texture. With all the vitamins and everything in it are amazing. So now I have a bunch of lipsticks. So that's just like a soft pink. Because I don't want to pull away from the eyes that we did. And I'll turn this way towards the light one more time. So you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Because my lighting in here is horrible. And I need to get that mirror. Let me turn it this way. Now you can see with that pink that I have in my eyes, with the brown it's not so dark and that pink is not going to pull too much away from my eyes because if you have something that's more bold up here, you want to do a more neutral. Or if you have, say, a bright red lip, then you're going to want to alter what you do on top. And red, I don't usually do very often, so we'll have to get there. But that kind of just pulls everything together. And now, after I made everybody dizzy, we are complete. So if you guys have any questions at all or any questions on anything that I use today, um, just go ahead and shoot me a message. Hashtag and let me know if you are catching me on the replay um, so that I know you were here. And I appreciate all of it. Don't forget that kudos is still going on. You do not want to miss out. You're going to get your cleansing stick. Piece of hair, sorry. It's always on me. I'm like constantly shedding. Um, your choice of mascara and that purple one is also available for this month only. You're going to get a eye pencil of your choice, which you can also get any color you want. There are plenty of them. I would recommend one of the browns, prim or proper, or black, which is perfect, and that's what I use today. Um, and then you're going to also get your choice of a splash lipstick. So you're going to get four items. So pretty much you're getting these three items and a mascara. And this is an amazing stick for getting off anything on your eyes. I usually just use it for my eye makeup and then wash the rest of my face or, you know, wash it and use this as well. But I don't tend to use this all over my entire face, but you can. Um, it absolutely works for that. Um, I just prefer to just use it around my eyes to really get off this and the eyeliner. So that is what you get in this month's kudos for $69. If I do sell the first four, so there is um, 
I'm going to pick up here while I talk to you for a quick second. I am challenged to sell eight. If I sell eight of them, I get this uh, unique backpack that's black sequin um, just for selling the eight of them. So if I sell the first four, I'm going to let my boyfriend do my makeup on a live. So if you guys want to see that, hop on over and get buying those um, kudos. And then after the first four, or if the first four go, I'm going to have and announce what I'm going to do for the second four. So I wanted to kind of give something back so it's not just like I'm getting something. Um, but you guys are going to get four amazing products that will work for anybody. Great for Christmas presents, birthday gifts, um, anybody just starting out with makeup, anybody who doesn't wear a lot of makeup. It's essential products with a product remover so you can't beat it so that is it thanks guys for being here like i said if you don't see that red live button in the top corner just a uh, hashtag or message give me an emoji something that lets me know that you were here and i will talk to you guys all again soon don't forget about that share button down in the corner and i really appreciate it have a great sunday bye